Hi, welcome everybody to another episode of the Teeths Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make the very popular dish, um, the tandoori chicken at home. Um, it's going to have the same flavours and it's going to be beautiful and simple for you guys to uh, recreate at home. I know it's barbecue season at the moment and we're allowed to have uh, garden parties and so on. Um, so hopefully this is going to be a fantastic dish that you can stick on the barbie. Um, it will take probably a little bit longer to cook if you're cooking from raw, um, how I'm going to show you, but it's going to have a wonderful uh, flavour and it's definitely something that you're going to feel proud uh, when you've uh, cooked it and you're eating it. So hopefully this is going to be a fantastic dish for you guys at home, the tandoori chicken. Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you how we make the tandoori chicken. So I've got all my ingredients laid out. Firstly, the mustard oil. There you go. It says external use only, but the Bengalis have been using it for years, so it's perfectly fine. Uh, one lemon, squeezed all, all the juice. Uh, it's about 50 to 60 uh, mils um, of lemon juice. Greek yogurt, a bit of mint sauce, mustard. A bit controversial here. These are some pastes Patak make. These are the best ones. And in all Indian restaurants, we use the few pastes as well as all our spices. So to get the Indian restaurant taste, you must use the Kashmiri masala, tikka masala, tandoori masala marinade, fresh ginger garlic, all the spices, kasuri methi, and good old chicken. I've got about 1200 grams over here, so I'm going to start mixing it. Right to start off with, some Greek yogurt. One, two, three good tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Right, this is the ginger garlic paste, uh, two teaspoons of uh, garlic and two teaspoons of ginger, just smashed in the pestle and mortar. Here's my spice mix. So I've got one teaspoon of uh, salt to start off with. Um, I have two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chili powder, which is quite spicy, but I want a nice color and I like it nice and spicy, my tandoori chicken. You can just use one um, if you want to, or a half if you don't like it spicy at all. But if you like it really spicy, uh, use about three. But I'm using two, so I definitely can it'll definitely have a bit of spice and it's also going to have lots of flavor. Uh, turmeric, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of garam masala. I want that nice spicy sort of flavor. One teaspoon of coriander powder and I'm using paprika. You don't need to, but it brings a nice redness to it. I don't want to use any coloring at all. Right, I'm going to use some kasiri methi leaf. Smash it up like this. The more you crumble it, the better it will penetrate in the chicken. It wouldn't flake off. So that's a good teaspoon there. Now, these are my secret spices. So I'm using cold ones mustard. This is a fantastic flavor. Probably the best mustard paste in the market. Um, this is nice, zesty, zingy. Now, if you have a little taste of it, you should have a gas coming out your nose kind of thing. So this is gonna be gorgeous. So I'm using good one tablespoon. Right, I'm gonna use some garden mint. Um, this has got a nice little flavor. Now, one teaspoon should do the business. This is traditionally, we always put it in and for a bit of flavor um, that it adds. Now I'm going to use the tandoori uh, masala. You can get this from any supermarkets. So I'm using one, two, that's three teaspoons. Uh, this should be give you a nice, lovely color as well as flavor. I'm going to use tikka marinade. That's two good heat teaspoons. <clears throat> and lastly, the Kashmiri marinade. Right, 
one teaspoon. Now, if you're wondering, as a chef, why am I using um, these curry pastes? Um, the only, uh, the, sorry, the marinades. The only reason we use that, we've been traditionally, uh, we use it. It's got quite a lot of all the ingredients that we need. You can't use it alone, but to get this phenomenal flavor, uh, we prefer to use this. And most of the Indian uh, Bangladeshi restaurants, they use these kind of pastes. But I'll make an easier, simpler style at home version for you uh, next time. But this is the BIR, British Indian restaurant style at home. So I'm gonna do this for you. Right, now I squeezed um, some lemon. So that was one lemon. It's about 50 to 60 mils um, of lemon juice. Now, all these ingredients are gonna help penetrate in the chicken. That's why I want the acidity level of this uh, lemon juice should uh, harden up the outer uh, skin uh, of the chicken. So it's gonna have some lovely flavors going in. And now I'm gonna use the mustard oil. As I said before, it says external use only. Um, so we've been using it for years and the population of Bangladesh is <laughs> huge. So, right. I'm gonna be using one, two, I think that's plenty. So that's my spice mix. I know there's loads of ingredients, but you need it to have flavor. So all about the flavor in Indian restaurants. So normally we would add some food colorings but I do not want to. I'm not a big fan of food coloring. But this itself should build a phenomenal flavor. Right, I've been mixing this for a few minutes. It looks absolutely beautiful. And, oh, that's divine. It's got a nice tangy spices, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Yep, happy with that. So this is the chicken. Drain out all the water. Use a kitchen towel. Wash your hands, remember? Now, I forgot to say, I've scored the chicken. So right into its bone. So about three in the breast. So one, two cuts here. Leg pieces. So just score it. As you can see, there you go. This is a must. If you want the chicken to have nice flavors, there you go. One, two, three, right to the bone. There you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Beautiful piece of breast. There you go. Now, take all my marinade off my spoon, because the spoon is... So give it a mix. There's plenty of marinade, which is gonna probably be left over which is fine. I'll give this a nice mix. Make sure you massage the chicken. That's absolutely gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do now, clean film this up. Ta-da! Right, so the marinade, look at that beautiful color all natural from its spices and the paprika. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this overnight for the best result. And uh, it's gonna help penetrate um, into the, uh, uh, the chicken, the lemon juice, all the spices and the uh, oils. Hopefully it's gonna go into the chicken. And tomorrow I'm gonna to be eating this. And if you're in a rush, uh, marinate this, give it at least 
two, three hours and it should be perfectly fine for you. Or you can stick it in like this, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if you want to follow me, uh, do marinate this night before, whack it in the fridge and let it penetrate. And then on the next day, I'll show you the uh, cooking method, hopefully. Right, so this is the marinated chicken that I marinated yesterday, left it overnight. There you go. That should have penetrated the chicken. It smells wonderful. Now what I'm gonna do, just oil so the chicken doesn't stick to the rack. Excellent. Give it a last massage. Bismillah. here there you go looks wonderful that marinade's lovely and gone into the chicken hopefully that was 24 hours this I've left it so should be phenomenal in flavor right now we're gonna stick it in the grill Right, I've preheated the bottom um, oven. Well, I've just turned it on to make sure it's preheated um, to about 180, uh, 180 plus. Um, so I'm heating that up and then I'm gonna use the top uh, to use the uh, grill. So right underneath the flame, like uh, creating the cooking of the tandoor. So the grill's on, there you go. Nice flame. If you've got electric, it should be fine. Now my lovely chicken's going in. There you go. Right underneath the flame. Beautiful. I've got my timer. Should be about eight minutes or so, one side and then I'll flip it. The time is ticking away. Chicken is coloring beautifully. Now, when we stick this in the tandoor oven, it takes uh, about eight to 10 minutes, uh, to about 12 minutes for it to get cooked properly, depending on the size. Now, cause I'm doing it at home, I'm trying to recreate uh, that flame grill that you get in the uh, sort of tandoor oven. So um, it's direct under the uh, flame and you can see the chicken kind of bubbling away, as you can see there. That's the direct heat. Now inside of the chicken is not gonna get cooked. That's why I'm gonna finish it off in the oven. But it's looking fantastic. This is what I want. Absolutely gorgeous. So eight to 10 minutes on one side. I'm gonna, on one side I'm gonna look at the coloring and then I'm gonna turn it. So absolutely gorgeous at this moment of time. Beautiful. Right, that's been about eight minutes. Let's go and check on the chicken. go it's looking very good I think that does need about a minute or two so whack it back in I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and I'm gonna turn it beautiful smells wonderful and I can hear it sizzling away absolutely gorgeous Right, it's been a further couple more minutes. Right, I'm satisfied with that. So, I've just got some oil over here and I'm gonna add a bit of ghee. There you go. So a couple of tablespoons of oil and a couple of tablespoons of ghee. Give this a mix. Whack it on the chicken. Now if you've got tongs at home, use some tongs. So 
set my timer, whack it back in carefully. Right, it's been a few more minutes. Smells fantastic. The kitchen's heated up. Look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Under the flame. Absolutely fantastic. The time is ticking away. There you go. If I stuck this in the oven, it would have released all the liquid from inside the chicken, all the lovely jus, uh, the juices, and you don't want that, you want the flavour. So this sort of seals uh, the chicken. So when we stick it in the tandoor oven, it's about 350 degrees. It's absolutely boiling hot in there. So um, I'm, I'm trying to recreate that heat. There you go, look at that skin just bubbling away. So underneath the direct flame, it gets really hot. There you go, I'm actually sitting outside of the uh, outside of the grill and I'm absolutely roasting. But there you go, I'm trying to use that heat and trying to keep that moisture locked in so all that flavour stays in the chicken. So I've got a few more minutes um, and then I'm going to bring it out of the oven, guys. Right, that's been a further 8 to 10 minutes, I think. Wonderful. There you go. It looks the business, but um, it's not cooked properly inside. So, carefully place it here. Right, that's the chicken. So what I'm gonna do now, put a bit of butter and ghee, the bottom side of it. This also just keeps the chicken nice and moist. We've got the burn marks. Beautiful. Flip it back. But there you go. Looks wonderful. Beautiful pieces of chicken. But we need to make sure it's cooked inside. So. Oh, that's hot. So. There you go, that's really hot in there. Got to put it a bit down. So it's in the oven, it's about 200 in there. Um, I put the temperature a bit down, so I want to cook that for about 10 15 minutes until it's ready. The chicken is. I'm just heating up my cast iron serving skillet that you have in the restaurants. Let's check up on this baby. It's really hot, so be careful. Cool. It's looking wonderful. It's been about 10 minutes now. Let's... Just just checked on the chicken. It's still not 100% cooked how I want it. I'm going to give it a further 3-4 minutes and then I'm going to bring out the chicken. Right. This is a lot. Right, that's the chicken. Done. It's got its char grill. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now, there you go, it's not pink or anything inside. It's still nice and juicy, should be nice and tender. There you go, beautiful. There you go, all that juice is still locked in. Wonderful, look at that. Yep, that's cooked. My favorite pieces are the thighs. Love a good thigh. There you go. Beautiful. Right, now it's ready. I'm going to ready to serve. So right, I just have some raw onions. This is what you would get in the restaurant, some kasiri methi. Mm. 
So here's the chicken. Right now, let's get a wedge of lemon. Make it sizzle. Some of that butter. You look wonderful. That's the tandoori chicken at home. It should be better than the restaurant. Look at that. Beautiful. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos. Enjoy. So I've asked my auntie to come and taste it. The chicken's properly cooked. Let's take a bit of lemon juice. There you go. Lovely piece of chicken. And I'll ask my auntie to taste it. So I think it's a thumbs up for everybody. It looks beautiful and it tastes fantastic. So thank you very much. Mashallah. Thank you very much and see you soon on the next video. The tandoori chicken. Amazing. Beautiful.